Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today we group 2 from class KAM2 to 8 5D. We present about the topic that we select which are issue of industrial sector. The industrial sector can be defined as a sector that provide businesses that we help others businesses. This industrial sector also known as the secondary sector. Most of the business that be done in this sector will go to other businesses rather toward the consumer directly. There are three categories of industry which are light industry, medium industry and the heavy industry. Today presentation we focus on the medium industry. The scale of production in this medium industry smaller compared to the heavy industry but bigger compared to the light industry. For example, the manufacture of the vehicle such as motorcycle, trailer and many more. This industrial sector is important as it helps to increase the national productivity. It also helps to increase the skill and capability of the employee which at the end will give positive impact toward the economic growth of the country. The first issue is on the manufacturing skill gap. A study conducted in 2021 shows that manufacturing industry faced a shortage of workers around 22,000 employees. This problem might be a crucial problem since most of the employers reported that those shortages include skilled and unskilled workers. Even most employers said that shortage of manpower happened among the technicians, mechanics, and even the engineers. So this kind of issue has led into several problems. Of course, the problem of skill labor gaps among the among the worker, especially for the manufacturer who operate operates their manufacturing businesses in Bayan Lepas, Penang. Of course, this issue was triggered by many factors, and some of the factors lead into this problem are poor link between what school teach and what the job job front need. Second factor is on the overqualification and unqualified that set or required by a certain company toward their candidate. And the last factor is on the educational level of the employee itself. The second issue of industrial sector is the safety issues in the operation of manufacturing machinery and the risky equipment in the workplace. In this developing age, it has seen the accident at workplace are often on the rise, especially in the industrial sector, in the field of production in Malaysia, which deserve more in depth and broader attention. Also, such issues are very vulnerable to workers that working in manufacturing, production, electronics, assembling goods, and other activities involved in the operation of machines and various production equipment. Also, there are studies stating that the steel manufacturing process involves a high technology and high physical, which has made safety management a complicated task. This is because, according to the remaining case as cited by Verma. In 2014, members of the U.S. steelmaking industry continued to suffer many injuries, illness and deaths. Meanwhile, the combination of complex technology and physical workers have also created complex challenges or for safety management in steelmaking. For example, also, the issue occurred in the Bayan Lepas when the factory workers died after his right hand was stuck on a molding machine at the factory in Jalan Bukit Gedong. Also, an accident involving a Filipino, a Filipino factory worker died after his head got stuck on a casting machine at a factory in the Bukit Minyak industrial area, Bukit Murtaja. In addition, according to one Aizun, in his article entitled The Statistic of a Proportional Accident Involving Heavy Machinery in Malaysia Based on Statistics from Social Security Organization, SOCSO or PERKESO in Malaysia, the study stated that the occupational and accidents reported in Malaysia increased over the, the past five years, which is between the 2014 and 2018. Therefore, it can be seen that the issue of security has become a massive issue in the industrial sector, especially in the medium industrial sector, regardless of manufacturing, production, and others that are related activities. The rapid technological advancement through industrial revolution 4.0 is causing another problem to the Malaysian industrial sector. Some manufacturers in ASEAN countries are somewhat less confident of its complexity to reshape the industry. IR 4.0 is the implementation of information technology to monitor the physical process within manufacturing operations. However, the level of industrial revolution in Malaysia is between Industry 2.0 and 3.0. 
The Malaysian secondary sector technology still depends largely at mass production and automation level, which remain industry 2.0 and 3.0. The high cost of industry revolution 4.0 is the biggest fear which the adoption of robotic and artificial intelligence in industry 4.0 does not come cheap. The last issue that has been arises in the medium industry is regarding to the problem of inventory management which can lead towards the shortage of supply. Inventory management refers to the process of organizing the items that are available to customers which it provides production, purchasing and distribution services to suit marketing needs. Proper inventory management aids businesses in determining that there is always sufficient stock to satisfy client demands and that a shortage is detected early enough. It is in line with the objective of inventory management which is to ensure continuous supply of materials, spares and finished goods. The issue seem to be more serious especially when the COVID-19 pandemic began to hit the world in early 2020 as what has been faced by the Flextronic Technology Penang Syndrome Berhad. It is an industry that provides electrical components which the company offers printed circuit board assemblies, plastic molding, metal stamping, enclosures and tooling. It provides products to the medical, aerospace, defense, industrial, capital equipment, clean tech and computing industries. The COVID-19 the global pandemic has presented new challenges that the industry has never faced before, which normal supply chains have been interrupted, while at the same time the demand for medical devices increases. Therefore, Flex has created a worldwide task force to manage the COVID-19 situation since the beginning of the crisis in January, which they must monitor demand in collaboration with their suppliers and consumers, balancing the necessity for supply against the risk of artificially constraining the market. The first implication that we could see is on the slowing industrialization of innovative new products and the processes of technology. As the manufacturing and supply chain industry continue on its digital transformation journey, the skilled labor was required to do their job as to make the changes within the organization. However, this might be difficult for the factory or any manufacturing industry that having a trouble in the skilled labor issues. According to the Department of Education and skill by United Kingdom, a skilled worker was defined as a person who is responsible to manage and have the knowledge and experience in certain fields. Thus, the process of manufacturing may be slow, may be slowed down if there is no sufficient number of expert or skilled person who manage the whole process in the manufacturing processes. At the same time, the manufacturing industry will have a challenges in providing new ideas as to provide a better quality for the output that they produce. The second implication of industrial sector is the loss of workers due to the workplace injury result in the shortage of skilled worker in the industrial sector. According to Wright in 2019, he stated that the implication that we occur on safety issues, especially in the industrial sector, will result in the loss of workers due to accident at work, which will lead to a shortage of skilled worker. On the observation of uh, of the cause of accidents at work, between 62.8% of accidents are caused by three types of accident, namely falling, stepping on, colliding or being hit by objects including falling objects and other types of unclassified accidents. In addition, there are perceived implications of continuity in this issue that have been, uh, to be borne by companies which include financial implication such as the payment of fines, compensation and damages as well as the non-financial implications including the deterioration the deterioration of the company's reputation according to the Noor, Shakira and Muhammad Firdaus in 2021. The resistance to adapt with technological advancement gives some negative implications towards production and product quality. The lack of high technology system will affect the entire supply chain from creation and manufacturing productivity. The manufacturers cannot provide and develop mass production in shorter time at a lower cost since they are at the start of industry 2.0 and 3.0. It takes longer time to produce product with good quality because the current technology cannot entertain 
mass production. The product quality also cannot be improved because there is no smart shaking progress and shadowing that can enhance operating time and quality. The absence of hard technology system also cannot help in making product become attentive, well managed and tracked in real time. The product also cannot be tested and monitored at different paces of production because this testing can only be done with the application of artificial intelligence. Therefore, the resistance to adapt with technological investment may decline the company's profit and productivity and also will affect the country's economic at large. Due to the problem of the inventory management in the industrial sector which lead to shortage of supply, it has created a high turnover among employees which referring to the number of employees who leave a business and are replaced by new employees. Flats admitted that their production facilities were shut down for a few weeks in March 2020 due to the pandemic which has created turnover intention among employees. The global manufacturing industries had a turnover rate of 16% which was the fifth highest among all industries and has become a severe issue in developing countries such as Malaysia, as what happened in the medium industry in Bayan Lepas. As a result, the manufacturing industry has a greater turnover intention than other industries. Next, we will talk about the suggestion that can help to solve the problem which are firstly by improvise the restructuring policy, especially toward the foreign workers. This is important to, in order to avoid over-dependency toward the foreign worker, which at the end will disturb the job opportunity to the local people. For example, by looking and improvise the visit past that foreign worker very to apply. This permit system is important as it, will, as it will help to control the labor supply. Apply. This way will help to avoid any surplus of the foreign worker which at the end will give good impact to the local people. After that, the second suggestion is by providing more training program to the personnel. This will help to improve the personnel work performance as the personnel will be provided with new information and knowledge. This is because important to the person to gain new knowledge as they usually will face with a lot of the dangerous equipment and machine. This training program will help to give the person an extra precaution as it will help to prevent any unwanted event from happening. For example, Malaysia Smart Factory 4.0, they are also known as MSF 4.0. The MSF 4.0 provide the training program through the as on and online training approaches in order to increase and upskill the Malaysia employee in the industry, se industry sector. Besides, the other suggestion is by implementing the collaborative activity with the educational institutions towards the company's worker to enhance their further knowledge. For example, this can be looked such as in the medium industry of manufacture of rapid metal and plastic products in the Amberhide in Bayan Lepas, in which the collaborative partner can ensure the workers are equipped with the expertise and knowledge towards the activities of manufacturing process of plastics in into intermediate or final products. Furthermore, this also is interrelated with the role of senior manager, especially who come from the accountable of influential body that have better for the education background. This is because they will act as a decisive leadership that will define organizational ideals to develop bigger transformation in the company. Next, the other suggestion is by introducing the inventory and supply chain management through company-owned software as due to the globalization that followed by the advancement of technology across the industry. Therefore, the useful of supply chain management systems will encourage medium industry to act as a tool for integrating all components of a company's supply chain to deliver output more efficiently, effectively, and profitably. For example, there are two software options that can be used by the organization, which are enterprise resource planning, ERP software, and a cloud. The ERP software is a system which integrates and handles all the company's critical functions into a single system and functioning as a business-wide solution. Next, the other option is the cloud-based software, which gives mostly beneficial to the manufacturers and retailers' production as it can be a cost-effective solution. 
in conclusion, there are several issues pertaining to the medium industry at Bayan Pass Free Trade Zone, which has led to the several implications that affect the ineffectiveness and inefficiency of the output produced by the industry. Therefore, to overcome the problem, it requires a strategic plan such as through policy reformation, collaboration and innovation of company software. In addition, this also will enhance the achievement towards the better produce and profitability gained by the company.